60 frames per second, so what's the next bump up above that? It's going to be 1924. 1924. Uh, um, Alright, so. Call Colin! 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 Colin. 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 Come here. Why? We're going to commentate. I'm playing Orma. Well, that's fun and all, but this is commentary. I'm playing Orma with a friend. Oh. You have friends? Uh-huh. How dare you. Uh, friends other than Isti, he means? That's... No, just friends in general. Oh, yeah. never mind. No, he was insulting you. Okay. Call no, Colin! Don't go! I'm playing Arma 2 and I'm in the middle of a match. That's uh, disgusting. How do you how do you just what like a 1v1? Or no. what? I was, oh, I was about to say shit. with a bunch of people going up against a bunch of people. Yeah, that's not really how Arma works. <laughs> I was about to say, like you can't 1v1. What are you gonna do? Just well, meet up in Chain Force? Somebody goes on that four and the other person goes on the Okay. How big is that map again? Massive. 225 square kilometers. Yeah. That's what, like 1,500 miles? Yep. Nope. Not even close? Uh, I mean, he has to map someone, right? I don't know. So the moral of the story here is that um, we, uh, uh, I reformatted my computer, and then I lost all of the save files because I forgot to back those up. Oh yeah, turn off your, turn off your game. Or, or turn it, or that works. <laughs> so the moral of the story is that, um, yeah, so I reformatted, and awesome. I backed up all sorts of stuff, but I forgot to back up my Skyrim saves. So I lost all of my high-level characters, etc., etc., etc. What? Whoop. 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 So, folks, as you've already now have probably have not realized because you're not Korean or into K pop, we have watched Opa Gundam style and we are really no, into the song. It's Opan. O P P A N. No, it's, I thought it was Opan. Oh, yeah, you're right. Shit. Opan. I've disgraced the Koreans. I have to kill myself. No, that's that's the Japanese. What are the Koreans? I think that you just have to kick something really hard. Really? I'm, I'm not 100% on that. Sure. Huh. Uh, this is quiet. This game is quiet. I bet you the mic is still picking it up though, and that's gonna like cause an echo. It's gonna be really annoying to anyone who's watching this. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. That was too far. This gun is so accurate, I'll let you play this guy. Okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, yes, Isti, yes. Talk guns and... Guns and... Sc it's that. That'd be awesome. That, that's gonna be the next star, like, in modern day. And they have, like, things like guns. I, I would go as far as, like, an Arcubus. Which, which is, like, an early form of the musket. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm from Korea. No, you're not. <laughs> I wish I was. Completely different parts of the world. Which, by the way, that's the title of the video. <laughs> so in this in this video, that's gonna have like a hundred views at the end of a month tops. You're telling people to go and watch another video that has twenty one million. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Fuck! No, Jerongo. No. Fighted this dog. No, go away. There are no dogs in there, well, there are dogs. There are no hairless dogs. We weren't with you. We weren't with you. Wow, look at that woman's armor. Whoa, Isti, just take a break. Look at this woman's armor. What's wrong with her? What's, wrong? What's up with her face? Did I just do that? I did that backwards with my knife. Wow, that's gonna bleed. I think so. It felt pretty deep, but I don't see blood yet. That's not good. What does that mean? That means it's a subsurface cut. I don't know what that means. I don't know what it means either, but I thought it sounded kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Alright, well, if my mouse winds up covered in blood... That sounded necessary. This gun is so accurate. You there. Even my inaccuracies are being overly... No! Who are you? As... Why is everyone camping? <laughs> um, wait a minute. Where's... Oh, Red Guard. Here we go. Yeah, let's play Red Guard this time. It, it's gonna be great. Um, this looks this looks good so far. I like where we're going. Um, complexion, dirt. Uh, yes, dirt color. Be black. Looks like paint. Move your scars. Very lightly done there. Scars. That one looks good. War paint. I wish that we could, like, wear war paint out and about, you know? I wish I could rub war paint on my genitals. I, uh... Wouldn't that just seem scary? Like, a scary general, because... <laughs> I mean, if I saw your genitals, I'd be like, wow, those are war genitals. That's... I should avoid those. But, um... No? <laughs> I mean, I do it all the time. You just show people your genitals? No! Isn't there a song about that? Show me your genitals? Genitalia? Genita is it genitalia? No, it's just I honestly next, don't. That's the next lyric. <laughs> that's the next lyric. Genitalia. We want this guy to have a wide jaw. He's going to be a hero. Jaw height. Heroes have wide jaws. Why is everyone so gay? <laughs> no, I'm going to be an evil warlord. Yes, you can. Cheek color, forehead color. Yeah, my forehead color needs to be different. That's that makes sense. Eye shape. I can't decide. What are you doing? None of these eyes look proper. So you have to make those kind of sounds. Yeah, that's what I got out of that. Is that? Did you get, wow, his eyes are different colors now. Oh. Yeah, that looks good. I hate farm. Eye depth. We want him to have deep set eyes. And evil black eyeliner. With evil black eyeshadow. And an evil black eye tint. <laughs> Look how evil he is. Ah, 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 ah. So, I have a question. Huh? So, if you're fat, would you be excited if someone gave you food? I, that depends on what kind of fat person you are. If you're the kind of fat person who's fat and doesn't fully realize that they're fat, then yeah. Oh, don't worry. Please, baby. What else is for? What does it can possibly be? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what if you're a skinny person that likes food? I'm a skinny person that likes food. So that, so that makes you fat? No. What does that make you then? That makes me a skinny person that likes food. But it has to be a specific name for it now. Well, why? Because we have to judge everyone. We have to judge everyone. Even the people who are perfect. Well, I suppose nobody's perfect. Except me. Well, I'm arrogant, but that's my only flaw. And nobody got it. I got it. I just didn't want to say it. Because it might feel your arrogance. <laughs> I suppose that's a valid, valid reason. Look how big his chin is. The crimson chin. Here comes the Crimson Chin! <laughs> <laughs> he's such a funny character. It doesn't make any sense, but he's just a funny character. And now his mouth needs to go forward. <laughs> he's a gorilla? <laughs> look at him! Misty, please look at my character. <laughs> oh my god, he is a gorilla. 
The Crimson Gorilla Chin. Alright, let's bring this chin back a bit. Get him to look human. Oh, in the mouth. <laughs> shouldn't listen to music right before this. It's probably not a good idea. You're not a good idea? You're a good idea. Thanks. Do red guards have beards, usually? I don't know, what looks more evil, bearded or non? Bearded. I mean, what is an evil guy with a big chin? I don't know where I was going with that. Only if it's like well kept, I would say. Because the evil beards have to keep their chins well beard. That doesn't make sense. I also need like swept back hair. That looks that looks about right so far. Uh, we'll keep that one in mind. Yeah, she looks kind of evil though. I'm not gonna lie. He looks like a Nord. <laughs> this is a Red Guard Nord. <laughs> And I'm a Nord. Alright. Turned a Red Guard into a Nord. Could have saved myself a whole lot of trouble. Um. Okay, where is that one with the ponytail? I think it was. Uh, I don't want cornrows. Hell. Does anybody who play this game keep cornrows? I think no. Here we go. Wait, there's cornrows in Skyrim? The Red Guards have cornrows. Really? Can have cornrows, I should say. It isn't. All right, is it... let's name him. Is that racist? Yes, it is a little bit, but um, you know, not really. It's supposed to be a geographical thing. For, it matches the lore, you know. Aside from that, I don't think that there are a whole lot of people who play this game who are of different colors. Yeah, you know, I think this is pretty much like your pasty white boy kind of game. That's that's their target audience here. That and adorable little like six-year-old girls who just swing their swords at everything they see. Uh, what? You didn't see that video? No, oh. I didn't. It sounded weird. <laughs> what should we name him? Uh, doctor. It has to be doctors because doctors are all evil. Loctar. Doctor what? Doc Doctor Loctar. Dr. Loctar. No, that's not enough titles. Dr. Mr. Dr. Lockjaw. Dr. Professor. Dr. Lockjaw. That's his superpower. He's everyone Lockjaw. Mr. Dr. Professor Lockjaw. No, I fucked up. Is there, is there a, what's the abbreviation for professor? Just prof? Um, yes. So we've got... Mr. Dr. Professor Lockjaw. That's... Maybe something a little more lore friendly? <laughs> uh, how I long is this video? I, I don't know. I'll just, I'll just chop it up and upload it, like, in all of the, like, five minute segments. Why don't you just take out all the extra nonsense and just put in, like... That's boring. Mr. Doctor Professor. Mr. Doctor Professor. How long has he been in school, huh? Forever, that's the reason. Eternity. He has so many loans. <laughs> yes. Well, we'll, um... What's, what's a, what's a, what's a, a red card name? Siege. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like you're just censoring his eyes. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it really does look like you're just censoring his eyes. Hey, yo, man, so I, like, I was just walking to the store, and then, like, I just capped some niggas, and, like, you know... That's what, that's what it used to be like. That's what the gang life meant. <laughs> I didn't choose the thug life. The thug life I chose, chose me. me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so his name is Thug Life. Dr. Thug Life. Dr. Thug Life. Wait, wait, wait. Thugnificent. Dr. <laughs> Thugnificent. How do you spell that? Nif... Or even better, it could be known as... It could be the pimp name Slickback. 
Slickback? No, 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 no. <laughs> that the pimp named Slickback. That like the whole thing uh, is the pimp no, name. The whole thing is his name. The pimp named Slickback. That's a little too long. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Doctor Slickback. Enter. What are you doing here? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Doggies! Doggies! Kitties! No, no, they're definitely. Well, no, they're all quadrupeds. So. You get! No, no, get! No, get! Stay out! Alrighty. Now that we got Colin out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was dog. Oh, now for the cinematic portion of the game. It wow. Does General Tullius's armor look considerably more ripped all of a sudden? Or is that just me? You better look at it quick cuz he's only going to be on screen until we start. Wow. He looks so Skyrim into chaos. And now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. Ethereus. It's just the immortal plane, I think. This is going to be like the opposite of my last playthrough, because the, the last playthrough that I was doing was after I had taken like a considerable break of many, many months, and I had almost completely forgotten how to play the game. Like, I didn't remember a damn thing. And so, now I recall quite a bit. Just playing with my butterfly knife, waiting for the cinematic shit. Nice and easy. This is the part where I walk up to the headsman's block, and then all of a sudden, the game pauses! Oh! Why is he pausing the game? Because I just remembered that I need to set up my controls. Our, our, our sprint needs to be shift. Uh, toggle always run as fine as caps. Auto move cannot be C. I I need hate my life. Sneak needs to be C. Auto move control, that's, that's fine. Uh, quick magic is P? Hey, what's this quick stats button? That's interesting. I've never bothered to use that. Saving, settings, I hear gameplay, it. look sensitivity needs to be turned out a bit, we'll turn that off, difficulty needs to be turned up to master, and uh, we'll call that, we'll call that done, okay, now let's get this masterful game underway. What do you see? I hate everyone. Boom! I believe that shout was known as dropping the base. Alright, let's get this. Let's get this show on the road! Yeah, I've totally never done this before in my life. Oh. See how many seconds this will take me. Hey, Alduin, what's up? Look at that shadow. Joked. I'm gonna kill you. About ten levels. You want? Should I do like a speed a speed run? Should can I can I do a, a speed playthrough of Skyrim? Fine, whatever. See how long it takes. I don't know. 
You're supposed to say a bunch of shit. That's the point behind a dual commentary. Yeah, like that. Ooh, Rayloff. That was terrible. Rayloff. Yeah, I just shot you. Like the we're the only ones who made it. Are we? That thing was a dragon. No doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends. The harbingers of the end times. Holy shit. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Oh, you can take whatever you want off of me. <laughs> there you go. May as well take Gunner's gear. Items, weapons, apparel. Alright, get that armor on. Get that axe and your swings. I'm going to see if I can find some. Let's, uh, let's ready some destruction magic. That seems evil. So if you're evil, shouldn't you be, like, killing anything and everything that's, like, innocent? Yes, but so... I can't do that yet. I'm not powerful enough. <laughs> Be evil as you want. You gotta be smart about it. No way to hold this. Oh, being a smart evil. It's the parents. They cover. Oh yes, I'm gonna steal the shit out of her arm. Holy shit! This is gonna be a tough fight. <laughs> okay, she normally just falls over. What do you mean press mouse 2 to block? I'm shooting fire with that button. Smack him. Smack. No, you cannot best me. Alrighty. Heroic Imperial Armor. What? Is that a mod? I, I'm assuming so, because I look like this, and I just started the game. <laughs> He already looked like he beat the game and he just started it. <laughs> that just means that you're playing it right. No. So that means you're cheating. Come on. No, that means I have a mod active. It's probably got the same stats as the normal Imperial armor when she comes through. I say probably because I didn't bother looking. Wait, wait. You need to take off that armor. Why? Because it's all over. Wow, this guy's also tough. No, it's not the best I can do, but you become stronger. Right, right off. Right off. Where are you? Slay him. You know, Skyrim's difficulty thing, all that it does when you bump it up is it makes everyone around you tougher. Uh huh. So, like, Lydia will scale up with you for instance. So it's like, if everything around you is tougher, then so are your followers. So all that it means is your followers become a little more... Oh my god, where where did my frame rate go? Potion of Minor Magicka, Salt Pile, Wine. Wine's good. Let's drink some wine. Wait! Where's my... Where's my Sky UI? That's gonna piss me off. Not having. And what's my favorite thing? I don't have anything favorite. Yeah. Let's get moving. Yeah. Torturer. Boom. 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 I can't tell. I can't tell who's who. The guy with the lightning in his hand, that's probably him. Shield. Apparel. Something in this cage. Yep, give me the knock picks. I like how it gives me twelve lock picks for this. That seems a little bit like. See if you can get a double. Say if you fuck up, I'm gonna give you eleven more. <laughs> Um, books. Notes on death dancing. Oh yes, I have to. 
Oh, need dead gold. I thought he said leave the door open. It's like, <laughs> I wasn't planning on closing it, bro. Whoop. I'm not gonna pick all these locks. I will, however, pick my nose. You can do that? <laughs> really? No. Do it. Use your sword. It, it, no. it, damn it. I almost struck my friend. Pick Lydia's nose. <laughs> no, no, Isti. You can pick your friend, and you can pick your nose. But you can't pick your friend's nose. You have to let them be who they are. Pick it themselves. On me, on me, everybody, on me. Everybody, on me. Whoops. Okay, fools. <laughs> yes, fear of fire. He's, look at that. He's standing right there. Boom! I'm gonna drop the base all over their asses. Well, that was fun. Um. I don't understand why they have all these iron daggers. How many iron daggers do you have? No, like why they're carrying. Oh, wow, my frame rates keep. It just it, it just keeps dropping for no discernible reason whatsoever. Oh, I still need to set up my hotkeys and um, obviously the sky UI. I can't this this damn user user interface. What? User interface. Oh, I thought you said uterus. No. <laughs> I don't know why I thought you said that. Uh, I'm going to be an evil battle mage. Spiders. I hate spiders. Many eyes. What's he saying? Too many eyes? I'm gonna steal all of their eggs so that they can't have babies. No spider babies. Hey! Disgusting creatures. <laughs> Ooh. God, I hate spiders so much. When I was mowing the lawn today, I just I felt something like it felt like something was crawling around in my leg. And normally when that it was the lawnmower. Normally when that happens, it's like just like a blade of grass or something that's stuck in that's stuck in the hairs on my leg or something. And so I just ignored it for a little while, but it didn't go away. So I looked down, and there was this huge freaking spider on my leg! I screamed like... you are now? No, louder! Just press C to start sneaking. It didn't help! Go, gun gun! Or, um, brain off! Whoa! I slayed the shit out of that bear. Right out of him. No treasure. No treasure. What do we got up here? Any hidden loot? No. <sighs> okay, and that concludes episode one. Dirt. We cut there, and...